This week on StarCap, World Boss Outside, Athletics kicks off at Paris Olympics, Cardi B pregnant, Reggae Boys snag Coach McLaren, and in the Dear Pastor review, my girlfriend and I could be siblings. Hey Star Fam, I'm Chanel and welcome to StarCap, a recap of the big stories that caught your attention this week. After 13 years in lockup, the world boss is a free man. <laughs> Adija Palmer, more popularly known as Vibes Cartel and his co appellants, were released on Wednesday after the Court of Appeal ruled against retrial in their murder case. Since then, the DJ has gotten right back into the swing of things, releasing a musical project on streaming platforms the very next morning and by the evening promoting his latest business venture. Right now we are promoting Fire Vibes at Grabber. My number one grabber on the market. I remember me I use it, so I just start me attacking. <laughs> 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 oh. Reactions to his release have been pouring in from all over the world. It's something to me, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the only thing people are left asking is how much for the concert tickets. The Summer Olympics in Paris is off to a roaring start. While Ashley McKenzie and Josh Curley represented us earlier in judo and swimming, the track and field stars are ready to take center stage. From the 100 meters to the 800 meters to triple jump, there is no shortage of Jamaicans on the world stage. Remember to keep tuned in to the Gleaner and the Star for everything Olympics related as we continue on the Paris Express. Cardi B has announced she's pregnant with her third child. The Bodak Yellow singer dropped the bombshell in a social media post on Thursday, mere hours after filing for divorce from her rapper husband, Offset. A representative from Cardi's team confirmed the news of the divorce, saying, This is not based on any one particular incident. It has been a long time coming and is amicable. In 2020, Cardi B also filed for divorce from Offset, claiming her marriage was irretrievably broken. They later reconciled. Former Manchester United player turned coach Steve McLaren is the new head coach of Jamaica's Reggae Boys. The Jamaica Football Federation made the announcement on Wednesday quieting rumors of who will be the new top boss. McLaren's hiring comes less than two months after Icelander Himir Halgrimsson tendered his resignation. The new coach's first assignment will be Jamaica's CONCACAF Nations League game against Cuba on September 6 inside the National Stadium. And in Dear Pastor this week, my girlfriend and I could be siblings. This 21-year-old reader is in a long-distance relationship with a girl that he loves. The only problem is, she might be his sister. He says he found out that his father and her mother used to be intimate back in the day, and with her lack of father, he's very worried. Pastor is convinced the only correct course of action is to get a DNA test, but I'm wondering if just the allegation alone is cause enough to step back from the relationship. What do you guys think? Is it too late for this couple or can they work through this? That's it for this week's Star Cap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on X, formerly Twitter and TikTok at Jamaica Star. I'm Chanel. Until next time, keep reading The Star, the people paper.